Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, don't fall. This is just so great. My game is loving me today. Not. They're all falling out, no. Blah, 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 blah. No! We're okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going, whoa, everything's falling. <laughs> that took forever. Hey fellow fiction fanatics, I'm Chase. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing my TBR game, Dice Determine My TBR. Choose which books I'll be reading this spring. So I'm first gonna go over the challenges I was able to complete for my winter TBR, and then we'll get into the game. I will leave timestamps down below if you wanna skip ahead. All right, let's get into it. For my challenge to read a book with multiple people on the cover, I read Can't Escape Love by Alyssa Cole. For my buzzword challenge, I read I Will Judge You By Your Bookshelf by Grant Snyder. To read a book by a new to me author, I read The Miracle on Ebenezer Street by Katherine Doyle. For my XOXO challenge, I read A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. To read a new release, I read What Once Was Mine by Liz Braswell. For my black dot prompt, which was to binge read a duology, I read both Between the Lines and Off the Page by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. For my LOL challenge, I read My Calamity Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Joni Meadows. For my library book challenge, I read Black Enough by a number of different authors and edited by E.B. Zaboy. For my five star prediction challenge, I read You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. And for coordinates, I read Crown of Oblivion by Julie Esbog. I was not able to complete all of my winter challenges, so my challenge to read a Rick Riordan Presents book will carry over into spring. And unfortunately, that means I will have to add a black dot prompt to the board. So round number seven is going great so far. All right, let's get into the rolls. First thing we're gonna do is see which dice will determine my columns. So if it's an odd, it's gonna be the brown, and if it's an even, it's gonna be the green. All right, let's roll. That is a one. So we're gonna go with the browns as our columns. Roll number one. Three, three. Three, three. And that is last letter. Roll number one landed us on last letter. So that means the last letter in the book I just finished needs to be the first letter in the book that I choose. So the last book I read was Can't Escape Love by Alyssa Cole. So the last letter in love is E. So the book that I'm choosing that starts with an E is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. All I really know about this book is that there's this girl who is the author of a webcomic and it's doing really well, but she is anonymous. And then there is a new boy at her school who is one of the biggest fans of her webcomic and I think they start a relationship, but she doesn't want him to know that she's the author. And I also know that this has mental health representation. I'm definitely looking forward to this one and I'm really hoping that I like it. Roll number two. We got a three, three again. And of course we got three, three, which we already have. Because we have eight options, I'm going to roll an eight sided die to see which one I will pick. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. And we got an eight. So it's going to be this one here. And that is lookalike. Roll number two landed us on lookalike. So for that, I'm choosing the midnight hour. I think that this book looks like Peter Pan combined with nightmares. I just think these books look alike. So that's my pick for this challenge. Roll number three. Six, four. Six, four. And that is Black Dot. <laughs> oh no. So unfortunately, roll number three landed us on our hidden Black Dot prompt. So that means I'm going to be pulling a random Black Dot prompt from my stitch bag here. I'll show you up close because it is adorable, but I have them in the stitch bag because their badness level is unusually high for something their size. All right, so I'm gonna shake this up real good. And we're gonna reach inside and see what prompt I have to do. I'm so worried. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And my black dot prompt is time limit. 
All right, so for time limit, that means I'm gonna roll some dice to see how long of a book I need to read and how many days I have to read that book. I'm a little worried about this, but we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. All right, let's roll. I'm gonna roll a d4 to see how many pages it needs to be, and then we're gonna roll a d20 to see how many days I have to read this book. I'm so scared. What is it? That is a three. So that means I have to read a 300 page book. And how long do I have to complete it? <gasps> I have 13 days. 13 days to complete a 300 page book. That's doable. I'm going to choose Forestborn by Shannon Hale. This is the fourth and final book in the Books of Baron series. And it features Rezo's sister and has to do with tree or forest magic. I don't really remember too much about this book, but I hope I enjoy my reread of this book as much as I have the first three. Let's hope that when I pick this up, I can finish it in 13 days. Roll number four. Three, two. Three, two. And that is male protagonist. Roll number four landed us on male protagonist. So the book I'm planning to read for this is The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe. So I know that this has to do with a teenage boy that he's moving from Canada to Austin, Texas. That is a major change in his life and he has all these stereotypes of what he thinks Texans are gonna be like. It's just really him overcoming these stereotypes. That's what I'm assuming. But I'm excited to pick this up and see what it's all about. Roll number five. Six, one. Six, one. And that is Storygraph Six. Roll number five landed us on story graph six, which is where I'm gonna go over to the story graph. For those who don't know, that's basically Goodreads, but better. On their homepage, they have six books from your want to read list, and I'm just gonna go on that page and choose one of those six books on that list. All right, let's do this. All right, we are on the story graph, and it looks like we have all the fills, the humans, a time to dance, a spindle splintered, gilded, or the power. All right, so I'm gonna go with Gilded by Marissa Meyer. So really all I know about this book is that it is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling and that is by Marissa Meyer. And last year I finished my reread of the Lunar Chronicles, which is one of my favorites. So I'm interested in seeing what this book has to offer. Roll number six. Five, four. Five, four. You've got to be kidding me. I got both. And that is Pop That Book Bubble. So basically I'm going to be reading a book outside my comfort zone. And the TBR game was so nice to us because roll number six had us land on our black dot prompt. So we hit both of the black dot prompts that were on the board, which is great. Love that. This black dot prompt was Pop My Book Bubble. So that means I'm going to be reading a book that is outside my comfort zone. So I've decided that I'm going to read a historical literary fiction, which isn't something I normally pick up. So for this, I'm picking The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. So this is the story of twin sisters who are black and white passing. So it's about these two sisters as they grow up and one marries a white man and never discloses that she's actually black and the other marries a black man, and then years later, we see how their stories intertwine once again when their daughters meet. At least that's what I think it's about. Roll number seven. Three, three again. All right, three, three is here. So we have six options. So I'm going to roll a d6 to see which one of these I'll get. So it's gonna one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is? one. That's going to be this one. And that is odds and ends. Man was 3-3 three, three, a popular number because we got it not once, not twice, but three times. Wow. Roll number seven landed us on odds and ends. So I'm going to go to a random number generator and choose two numbers and then I have to pick a book that's between those two page numbers. All right, let's see what that is. So we're over at my random number generator and we're picking a page number between 30 and 850 pages. All right, let's see what it is. 546. And the second number is 83. 
Alright, so I'm going to choose a book that's between 83 pages and 546 pages. So the book that I've decided to pick for this is My Contrary Mary. I've really loved the Jane series and I've been really excited to get into this one. I know that this book is back in the Lady Jane world and that it features Mary, Queen of Scots, who just so happens to be able to turn into a mouse. I cannot wait to get into this book. I'm excited to see how it goes and I love these authors and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this book as well. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. Roll number eight. Five. 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 That is A to Z. And roll number eight landed us on A to Z. So I'm going to go to a random letter generator and then I'm gonna choose an author who has that letter in their last name. All right, let's do this. So we have our random letter generator here. So I'm gonna spin the wheel and see which letter we get. Here we go. We got M. So I'm gonna go over to Goodreads and see which author I'm gonna choose. So we're gonna go over to my want to read shelf and we're gonna do this by author name. Now we just need to find M's. You know what? We got M and my friend and I were just talking and saying that I should read The House of Earth and Blood, which is by Sarah J. Mass. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pick up The House of Earth and Blood, the first book in the Crescent City series. I don't really know too much about this, except that it's by Sarah J. Mass. It's an adult book, and it has to do with like a mystery in a world where there's lots of different types of creatures. I am hoping that I like this, but I'm just not too sure because I really like The Throne of Glass, but I really have no desire to pick up the Akatar series. So hopefully this will be a good medium. All right, I guess I'm picking up House of Earth and Blood. Roll number nine. Four, four. Four, four. Oh, we already have that one. So we have five options. So I'm going to roll a D6 and it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And if I roll a six, I'll roll again. Here we go. That is a three. So one, two, three. And that is complimentary colors. Roll number nine landed us on complimentary colors. So I'm gonna go grab my color wheel and then we're gonna spin that whichever color it lands on. I will actually be choosing the complimentary color and that color will have to be on the book. All right, let me go grab that. All right, let's spin the wheel. Round and round it goes where it stops, nobody knows. We got purple. So for our complimentary color, we landed on purple. So that means we're actually choosing a book that features the color yellow. So for this pick, I'm actually choosing a graphic novel, which is Andre the Giant. One of my all time favorite movies is The Princess Bride. And I loved Andre the Giant in that he's just the absolute sweetest thing. I don't know if this is going to be uplifting or heart wrenching, but I definitely want to read this book and learn about his story and his life. And this book definitely features yellow on the cover. And I'm really hoping that I like this book. Roll number 10. Three, six. Three, six. And that is what I'm wearing. Roll number 10 had us land on what I'm wearing. So I will be choosing a book that has green, pink, and maybe a book with a flower on it too. So this book's gonna work out really well. I'm choosing Ruby Roman Holiday. This has Neo on the cover, so she's definitely got pink. There's the pink flowers next to her. It's not the right shade of green, but there is a green plant next to her as well. All I really know about Ruby Roman Holiday is it's a continuation of the Ruby series and we are featuring the villains in some way. So that's the book I'm gonna choose that matches what I'm wearing. And our final roll, roll number 11. Four, five. Four, five. And that is under 300 pages. Okay, we definitely needed this one. Our final roll, roll number 11, we landed on under 300 pages. So the book I'm choosing for this is gonna be The Girl from the Sea. 
by Molly Knox Ostertag. I love Molly Knox Ostertag. She is my favorite graphic novelist and I am very excited to get to this book. I believe this has to do with a girl and a mermaid and I know the art is going to be stunning. I'm excited to see where the story goes and I'm very happy that I have this book on my TBR. So those are all the books that I'm going to be reading for my spring TBR. I'd love to know some books that you're planning to read in the next three months. Also, if you've read any of these, I'd love to know what you thought of them. So let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the love. I'll see you next time. Bye.